Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on... Hold on, let me turn this down. Stardew Valley! <laughs> uh, this one will be the summer crops. We're going to go over them. We're going to go over the amount they get per day. Um, and then how much XP you get off each one. And the total for the month if you grow... Uh, all of the su su subsequential crops each month, how much you'll get off of one crop. All right, so one crop multiple times over the entire month. So, uh, just to jump right into it, uh, number one is blueberries. Okay, okay, first of all, there are two crops in here that you cannot get uh, straight away, they have to unlock somehow. And I believe red cabbage is a, a second year thing. Or, or not, yeah, red cabbage. And the star fruit, I believe you can buy at the oasis. Alright, so you have to unlock the oasis in order for that crop. Okay, so said first, so we got that out of the way. First crop is blueberries. Um, it's a multi harvest crop. So you plant one, you harvest it multiple times. It takes 13 days to grow, and grows every four days after that. You can make 35.2 gold per day off of this crop, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the XP is 14, and that gives the grand total of 56 for the month. Uh, second crop is corn. Corn is also a multi-harvest crop. Now, this is a special crop, so I think... Think I'm going to only give the total here for if you just grow it in summer, and then in fall we'll give the total for it for both the summer and the fall. Okay, so if you just grow it for the summer, oh I'm sorry, hold on, it's a multi-harvest crop. You grow it for 14 days, and then it grows again every four days after that. So uh, if you grow it just for summer or just for fall, uh, the total gold per day is 1.92. And then the XP is 10, and that would put it at uh, 40 for summer or fall for the month or season. I keep saying month, but it's actually a season, not a month. Um, hops. Hops take 11 days to grow, and then they grow every day after that, every single day after that. Uh, that, that amounts to 13.04 gold per day. And you get six XP each, which gives you a grand total of 108 XP for the month. Um, hot peppers. Hot peppers take five days to grow, and then they grow every three days after that. It's one of my favorite crops because uh, it, it it's a it doesn't give you a lot of gold, but it gives you a lot of income. In a short period of time, if that makes sense. So you're not going to make the maximum amount of gold for this, but it is going to give you a steady income throughout the month. You're not going to have to wait like half half. I keep saying month. Half. You don't have to wait half the season in order for you things. So it's it's nice. I like I like to plant about 20 of them, just so I can start getting money in at the beginning of summer. So I don't have to wait for my blueberries. Excuse me, get a drink. So hot peppers take five days to grow, and then they grow every three days after that. You can get about ten gold per day off of them. Uh, you get nine XP, and that amounts to seventy-two for the month, the season. Uh, melons, melons is a twelve-day grow crop. It is not a multi-harvest crop, so every twelve days you can grow more. It is one of the crops that will grow the big uh, crops. So, like, we have to break it with the axe. It'll, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's 14.17 gold per day. You get 27 XP per crop, which amounts to uh, 54 for the season. Uh, radishes is a six-day grow crop, kind of like potatoes. You get 8.33 gold per day with an XP of 15 per crop, giving you a total for the season of 60. 
Uh, red cabbage again. You can't get the first year. Um, red cabbage is a nine-day grow crop, and it takes seven. I mean, the gold per day is seventeen point seven eight, and the XP per crop is twenty-eight, giving you a total of eighty-four for the season. Uh, star fruit is the one you get from the oasis. It's a thirteen-day grow crop. Uh, it is just as profitable almost as blueberries, so just be mindful of that. Uh, it, the gold per day is 30.77, and the XP for those is 44, which gives you 88 for the, for the season. Uh, tomatoes is a multi-harvest crop. It takes 11 days to grow and then grows every four days after that. The gold per day is 9.26. It gives you 12 XP per crop and uh, gives you a total of 60 for the season. Uh, wheat is a four day grow crop. It gives you 3.75 uh, per day with a total of 6 XP per crop giving you a total of 41 for the season. Now the last two are flowers and usually flowers aren't pretty good but these flowers are actually pretty good well no, I won't say pretty good but you do get a good amount more, more than the uh, summer summer flowers uh, one is poppy it grows in seven days with uh, 5.71 gold per day and 20 XP giving you a total of 80 for the season and then the summer spangler I believe I said that right and it's an eight day grow crop with five gold per day and it's 15 XP for one crop, giving you a total of 65 for the season. So that's the total ones. Um, I did did look up the uh, wild seeds. Wild seeds only give you foraging experience. They do not give you regular experience. I'm going to go ahead and hit my E button here so we don't run out of time on the day and, and drop into unconsciousness inside our house. Um, Wild seeds grow every uh, take seven days to grow. Okay, so that and you you do not get farming experience for them. You get foraging experience for them, according to the wiki. If that's wrong, put it in the comments. I'll correct it. Um. So uh, if you were going some kind of uh, challenge mode, and um, I'm guessing some of them say don't know farming. But for me, if you're farming something that's a foraging item anyway, and you're doing a foraging run, then I would be totally okay with using the wild seeds. Um, that is for the spring one though, I did not check to see if all of the seeds grow at the same rate. I will do that and I'll let you know in the next video. So, uh, two notes today. Uh, the crops for summer will be blueberries versus hops. Okay, but I did not like the way the spring crops turned out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the spring crop comparison I'm only going to grow uh, one farm it's only going to be growing potatoes I'm going to do I'm going to grow the potatoes I'm going to water them every day I'm going to probably do my foraging because I'm, I'm going to have to do foraging on both of them because I'm going to need the extra money to get up all the crops for um, cauliflower <laughs> because I want to try to do the 43 again which means I'm gonna need a large amount of money at the end of the month for the last harvest of cauliflower which is gonna take loads of money and I need to plant the first crop by the fourth which means I'm gonna go ahead and sell the turnip seed or parsnip seeds anyway because I don't want them to affect the uh, uh, XP so I only want the XP from the farming to come from the cauliflower so Got that out of the way. Um, so I'm going to redo that. So you're going to get the new comparison for spring before I do the next comparison for summer. And then the summer will be easy because it's two renewable crops. So I only have to grow 43 of them. Um, it won't actually be the same amount, will it? Uh, not technically. But uh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Anyway.
that's it for today. If you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You come check them out. See if you like them. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, tell me how much you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. And I will see you guys on the next episode.